Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Jesamita and this video will be talking about the cost of building materials which has developed recently uh, given to the fact of the first of all we have the removal of the fuel subsidy which has already increased the transportation cost for most of these building materials and then secondly we have the increase in the dollar rate which has also affected the manufacturing of most of these products since they are not being manufactured and produced in Nigeria. So all these things has added to the cost of building materials we are having in 2024 right now. So the building materials has recently affected um, a lot of sectors also. And also uh, something like we have the housing and even the real estate also affected them which has made a lot of uh, building contractors and project owners to post the project so we are looking at the cost of let's see the masonry blocks so for cement based block so previously we had the nine inches block which has been sold for 450 but now right now it's being sold at the rate of 550 naira we have the six inches blocks which was sold for 370 naira which is now being sold at the rate of 500 naira and also we have the iron rods the 16 mm right now is being sold at the rate of 14,000 naira and then the 12 mm rod the 12 mm rod now goes for 7,500 naira and the 8 mm rod now goes at the rate of 6,300 naira so this has also affected the uh, the building materials given to the fact of the high cost of the dollar the subsidy removal then when you're talking of uh, the cost of labor it has also gone up given to the fact that you have to pay for transportation to go to work so the cost of labor also has increased because uh, when you when you bought a bus or a bike to go to the site you have to pay transport so the fuel subsidy has also done its own bad part in the building industry by increasing the cost of labor for workers who will be willing to go to the site to work and even though the project managers like we recent development of the high building material cost has also made it very difficult for building uh, contractors to deliver affordable building housing to 75 percent of nigerians and also uh, the cost of rental properties has also gone up given that you have a place whereby they just build a house and then people who come in to get the apartment the prices are skyrocketing because of if they just finish the project right now they are adding the cost of materials and everything to the rent they should be paying where people normally pay a rent for five hundred thousand maybe for a three bedroom apartment. Right now they, they'll be up paying up to one point something million naira. So this uh, brings us to a lot of uh, questions and confusion regarding one of the basic uh, necessities of man, which is the housing. Coming from the stone fish, man always look for a place to stay. So right now we we are kind of uh, with our own economy we we are no more encouraging buildings with all this development of the subsidy and the dollar rates being going up and down so we are intending to create a lot of slums if this thing continues this way we are looking at the uh, prices of the shippings also going up uh, the plank one by twelve plank right now it costs around um, 2500 naira you go to buy the two by three which they use for decking right now for one one thousand naira one two so i think the government has to actually look at this and find a way to uh, mitigate this type of problem because at the end of the day we are not making progress if we are not be able to build our country then we are not making progress we are going to back to the slums we are going to create a lot of shanties and then we're going to have 
more rapid problem of insecurity that is going to be coming out daily so is this something we need to look at and then also encourage other building materials such as the bricks which will be formed by the clay so these are all other forms of materials we, we should tend to embrace uh, given the period of uh, consolidation of uh, the building material prices so these are the prices and i hope um, if you haven't highlighted here of why these materials and it's going up at least uh, this video might have given you an insight first of all we have the removal of the subsidy and then secondly we have the dollar rate which is going up the dollar rate is affecting the production of these materials and then the fuel subsidy is affecting the transportation of these materials so all these things are affecting the building industry which will also intend to create a lot of slums for us if we do not build so we are not actually taking people out of poverty we are taking people into poverty which is not making sense for for our economy and for humanity itself because we have already passed this stage and then for nigeria to be going backward into the slums people are going to be building slums instead of houses because the bag of cement at the rate of uh is it ten thousand ten thousand five hundred and some places it's not it's not making sense so maybe we should encourage ourselves to be with more houses so if you find this video interesting uh kindly like uh, subscribe to the youtube channel uh, so we're going to find major ways we, we are going to cop this thing and look for other building materials we we can accommodate apart from the cement and the blocks maybe we use bricks or mud yeah maybe we'll go back to the mud age and start using clay to build maybe it will make sense and then to reduce the prices of uh, the cement which is actually going up so thanks for watching. Have a nice day and God bless you. Take care.